Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today, guys. I'm doing another video in my series. Are you kidding me? This is episode 18, where I take a look at some plays in Madden that just make you go, really? Really? That's what's gonna happen? Are you kidding me? And I'll say it out loud, I'll say it proud, I'll say it angrily, maybe with a couple choice expletives in there as well for, for good measure. And they're not always bad, but usually they're bad. It's usually a play that just catches you off guard, your jaw is dropping, and you're just wondering, what did I do to the Madden Gods to make this kind of thing happen? What do I have to sacrifice to the Madden Gods to make sure this never happens again? I'll tell you, my, my cat's on the auction block for sure. Do you know how much money I've spent on my cat? Like seriously, they say to you, you can't put a price on love, but then you go to the vet and they put a very specific price on love. That's a similar are you kidding me moment where you're just like, what is going on in the world? I don't know why I made the comparison between how much I love my cat and Madden, but I'm saying the frustration may be similar for whatever reason. So let's get into some of these plays right here. So the first one, it's not even really a play. It's just me loading a game and I get an opponent whose two top players are 83 and their next one is an 81? Are you kidding me? Salute to this guy. I think he quit the game on a couple plays pretty early, but that guy is a, he is a hero. He is a hero going out there with that lineup and playing someone that is, I can't even believe, he is a kind soul really to go out there. I feel like he's just gifting people wins. He's like, yeah, I don't, I don't care. I'm just gonna do it. I mean, how? How impressive would it be if he actually could win with that lineup? Generally, I feel like you know, seeing someone with an 88 lineup is pretty low, but wow, he's out there in the wild just trying with that line. That is crazy to me. He must be an eight-year-old who doesn't know any better, or maybe he just was in his salary cap lineup by mistake. A lot of choices there, a lot of sadness. So let's take a look at the first play here. You see, I have the ball, and I'm gonna try to run the ball. I motion this guy over, and look at this, this little pitch play, it goes right off the tight end. I am so sick of seeing this. Are you kidding me? I thought they said they fixed this. Because this does not look fixed to me. This is still happening. Look at him. He just dumbs out. My running back's not going to go for it. They're just like, I can't believe that happened. No. So I lose the ball. Are you kidding me this is still happening? This is something I hope, 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 hope they will fix. I'm going to actually tweet this video at Crayolo to try to get some help. And this isn't a one-time thing. See, again, another play here. Again, right off the fullback. And I, like, ne you never, not never, like one out of 10 times this happens. And I don't know, one out of 10 times that I run this play, this might happen. It's probably a little less than that, but it's still frustrating when it does because it's basically a turnover. Look how dumb Vic looks. He does it and he's just like, well, this play's over. I'm not gonna try, are you kidding me? <sighs> so frustrating. Here I am on defense. My opponent is gonna run the ball. Look at this, I force the fumble, and look at that, one guy, two guy, three guy, four guy, five guy, six guy, seven guy, eight guy. My whole team is there, and we can't pick it up. Are you kidding me? Look at this, one, that guy should have had it. Maybe one of those five guys who were in it should have had it, and then kind of a bunch of his team should have had it. Then two of my guys definitely should have had it there. Still they don't, and then somehow, one of his guys comes in at the end. Like, this is like, freaking. Are you kidding? This is like, I forget what it's called, that song, but it's 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 like that, all right? Benny Hill, it's like a Benny Hill clip right here. And then check out this play. Look at this scum kick. I tried to click off and stop my guy from doing it, but he still, like, still runs at it. And I tried to click on again to stop him, but it was too late. He makes that crazy anime. Look at this jump, he spats his out. Are you kidding me? And then once he does that and touches him, the next man in, He's gonna dive on the ball, or not even dive, but his animation makes him run like right out of bounds and make the, my user or my opponents get a safety. That is the scummiest of scum kicks I've ever seen, and it took my dumb user. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Next play, I'm on offense. I got an open man, and he just doesn't catch the ball. Look, he doesn't, he, not only does he not catch the ball, he collapses on his, on him. He just gives up on life. I think he died in the middle of that play, basically. Are you kidding me? Another one, look at this wide open guy, and does it go right off his helmet? His helmet. How does the guy not put his hands up to catch the, are you kidding me? Off of his helmet. 
And then the easiest are you, this was a weekend league game that I feel like I ended up losing 10-9. And I'm gonna blame this stupid play for it. I definitely should have beat this opponent. But those are the games that it's just like, everything is against me if this is gonna happen. If my guy can't even catch the ball, I'm not catching a break in this game. <sighs> are you kidding me? Those are some really rough ones. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to try to start doing yoga or, or meditating or something because I'm getting a little frustrated and hopefully making this Are You Kidding Me video helps me get it out of my system because what is up with those catching animations? That's Jimmy Graham, that's Jerry Rice. Those are pretty elite players, like tier six or whatever, able to get red cam good players and they're dropping those balls and Vic is, Vic is making the throws. I can't blame Vic, he's putting the ball there, but I'm getting the dumbest animations from my receivers and that's making me say, are you kidding me? So thanks a lot for checking out this video. Let me know. If you've seen weird catching animations like this, I mean, it's driving you crazy because you got someone open. Could be the difference to winning or losing in some games. Give this video a like if you haven't already and if you're down with the content because that helps out the channel a bunch. I've been Time Bomb. You guys are awesome and I'll catch you later.